So now let's talk about level surfaces. So we're switching to talking about a function of three variables. And we're going to set this equal to C now to get, now we don't get curves anymore. This will be a, an equation with three variables, so it's a three-dimensional object, which means it's a surface now. And so let's look at an example where we're trying to describe level surfaces. So describe the level surfaces of the function 4x squared plus y squared plus z squared. So we have 4x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals c. Okay, and this is the equation of our level surface. The first thing I'm going to notice is that on the left-hand side of the equation, I have a sum of squares, which means the left can't be negative. For any value I plug in for x, y, and z, the left-hand side will not be negative. So in particular, I know that c must be greater than or equal to 0. So let's start with c equal to 0. If c is equal to 0, I'm looking at 4x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 0. And the only solution we get is the point 0, 0, 0. So c equals 0 corresponds to just the single point being the origin. And now we're going to pick other values of c. And because I have this uh, coefficient over here of 4, I'm going to go with multiples of 4. And you're going to see just a minute why that works out. But I'm going to choose c equals 4 now. 4x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 4. And if I divide by 4... I'm going to get the equation x squared over 1 plus y squared over 4 plus z squared over 4 equals 1. And this is the equation of an ellipsoid. What happens when c is, now let's go with 16, of 4x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 16, and if I divide, I'll get x squared over 4 plus y squared over 16 plus z squared over 16 equals 1. This is also the equation of an ellipsoid. And so now what do my level surfaces look like? Well, the first one is just the origin point. So here's x and y and z. The second one is an ellipsoid. I go out a distance of 1 on x and then 2 on y and 2 on z. Here I do have both the top and the bottom. Okay. And then the next one, I get another ellipsoid, but now it's spread it out a little bit more. We go out a distance of 2 on x. 
and 4 on y, and 4 on z, so it's just like twice the, scaled out twice the size. Here's my, oop, there's my plane there. So I have a ball inside of an ellipsoid inside of another ellipsoid. Those are my level surfaces, and we can label them with our, our C values. This was C1 equals 0. This ellipsoid was when C was 4. And this one was when C was 16. And there are my level surfaces.